Thank you uh, uh, all for being here this morning. It's great to be here at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology. Glad to be joined by Minister Baines, whose work is supporting Canadian innovation and science, uh, and MPs Jennifer O'Connell, Selena Caesar Chavan, and Mark Holland, all of whom are incredible advocates for this region. Uh, and might I just add, congratulations to Mark as well. We've announced this morning he will be our new Chief Government Whip as well. <laughs> Now, I just got to meet with some fantastic young people who showed me the work they're doing in the automotive engineering program. Things like testing aerodynamics in a wind tunnel, which I got to help out with today. Well, at least not hinder too much. It's this kind of technology that makes the Automotive Centre of Excellence here at UOIT a world-class facility. Everything from cars to bicycles to drones are tested here, developing the best quality and performance possible. And our government is committed to supporting work like this that creates economic growth and produces real results. That's why today we're announcing that the federal government is investing nearly $9.5 million to support innovation and training here at the Centre. I am really proud of this announcement because this funding will support cutting-edge capabilities like a simulated moving road so researchers can continue to create cleaner, safer technology for Canadians to use every day. Supporting this project means new, energy-efficient products that are going to deliver better results while reducing pollution. This project is a smart choice, which is why it has support from the private sector through groups like Magna and Multimatic Engineering. Today's investment isn't just about keeping our research competitive, it's also about creating good jobs for Canadians. This commitment will almost double the workforce at the Automotive Centre of Excellence, creating well-paying, skilled, full-time jobs. As a government, we're taking action to support our resilient Canadian workers throughout the auto sector. With smart investments that keep our industry competitive on the world stage, we're protecting jobs and creating new employment for people like the students here today. C'est sûr que tout le monde dit de nos jeunes qu'ils sont les leaders de demain. Mais en fait, ils sont d'abord et déjà des leaders d'aujourd'hui. Ils font déjà les découvertes qui contribuent à améliorer la vie des Canadiens et ils travaillent déjà à améliorer la santé de leur communauté. Ça veut dire que lorsqu'on investit dans les jeunes Canadiens, on aide à faire notre pays plus innovateur et plus prospère. Et nous sommes déterminés à aider nos étudiants à acquérir les compétences et la formation dont ils ont besoin pour obtenir les emplois d'aujourd'hui et demain. Here at, the, here at an Institute of Technology, it's clear that opportunities in fields like artificial intelligence and cybersecurity are growing every day. That's why we created almost 60,000 co-op and work-integrated learning placements for students in science, technology, engineering, and math. But as every student and parent knows, getting a job in a field like engineering means going to college or university, and that's expensive. So to make post-secondary education easier to afford for our youth and their families, we increased Canada student grants by 50%. Everyone should be able to have a post-secondary education, no matter how much money their parents make. One of the greatest things about college and university is that it's a place to meet people who have a whole range of experiences that might be different from your own. For example, some people are balancing the demands of a family with their schoolwork, and many students attend part-time. We get that. So we increased the eligibility for Canada student grants for people with dependent kids and for folks studying part-time. And once people graduate, they might not have their textbooks anymore, but a lot of people still have their student debts. It can be a heavy burden. That's why we changed the repayment assistance program so no graduate will have to repay their Canada student loan until they're making at least $25,000 a year. Nujan. Oh, 
Nos jeunes, au début de leur carrière, sont un moteur d'innovation et de croissance économique. Partout où je vais dans notre pays, je vois des travailleurs de tous les âges innover et contribuer à assurer la compétitivité du Canada sur la scène mondiale. C'est grâce au travail acharné de la classe moyenne que le Canada est prospère et que notre avenir est encore plus prometteur. So at the start of a new school year, let me say this to all our students. We are right here supporting you as you study and work hard. Thank you for the world you are busy building and innovating. Thank you all for being here today. Yes.